much, y'all. It's time to get my life right because um, Jazz got a court hearing. Tell her I'm not speaking for her though. Mm -mm. And why not her speak for herself? That's what grown people do. Tell her I'm not speaking for her though. So let me get my life right. Her speak right for quick. herself. That's what grown so people do. So I can go pick do. up. Um, so let me get my life custom right. Custom wig. Right quick. Someone customized. So I can Stephanie. go pick up. Um. Um, this custom wig. Someone I got, customized. I got, what Stephanie. kind of wig I had got? How to customize? Um, I had got a Beyonce inspired from the Drunk in Love video. You know, Beyonce. Was, hey. I got that wig, and um, she did it in a body wave so that when it's wet, it looks like naturally curly and stuff like that. And she custom colored it. To my specifications dark roots and a red um fire red color so i'm excited about picking that up today before we go to this hearing so strap on your seat belt and stay tuned because today is my last full day with jazz so kind of sad i'm sad and i'm happy at the same time I guess I'll explain that later. It's 2 o'clock. We're going to free hall. We have other plans prior to going there. I know that. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Mommy told us this morning. Wow, I'm fresh. You might as well stay here. Eat. Dang, you get a ticket. I'll move slow, too. <laughs> what you rushing for? It's 2 o'clock. <laughs> My pocketbook. She grabbed my um Georgia. Fuck. I'm trying. She is ready to go pay the ticket. All right, y'all. We are in the car, headed to go pick up my wig, and then we are headed to Jasmine's court hearing. Sounds so bad. It's not like I'm going to jail. Mommy, this a um pretty road to do a uh, outfit of the day picture on. Really? Uh, Stephanie ain't getting out the car. Nope. We don't know what's over here. We don't know what animals or anything like that. They live over here. <laughs> Shit, better alone. Some people. Like huh? I know. Huh? What about the KKKs? Because that's what we look like we at, okay? It's a little scary. Girl. He probably is. He probably live in the neighborhood. Yeah, pray for Jazz. Pray for Jazz. They're going into the courthouse. Jazz is about to shit a brick. Cause she says she hopes she coming back out. She'll be back out, y'all. I stayed outside just due to the fact that I don't think I was going to help the situation. Um, just due to the fact that I look flashy. Flashy ain't going to help when it comes to paying them fees. So I've had my experiences with going to uh, the courthouse and they've been good. And they ain't been good because they say, they say people don't judge you by the way you look, but yes the hell they do. They judged me, and I guess because I looked like some money, uh, like I had some, uh, yeah, they slapped 
they slapped some penalties on me last well the last um the last ticket I got was in Valdosta, Georgia, and they said I was doing sixty no I said I was doing seventy and a fifty five and it's a speed trap and it's tons of speed traps in Valdosta, okay and honey it was so jacked up the way they uh, penalized me I had to pay a $500 fee before I even went to court and I said so what happens I paid a $500 fee and then what they say well I'll still go to court on my court hearing on my court date and once the verdict has been filed then if I'm not guilty they'll refund me the $500 that I paid at a later date or if I'm found guilty now I got to pay court fees bump that shit I didn't get penalized on my um car insurance so I didn't worry about it the one that they threw the book at my ass was in North Carolina I went I got an attorney uh, attorney was a waste of money I paid four hundred dollars for that and then turned around and I had to pay another four hundred dollars plus one hundred and seventy five dollars in court fees plus they made me do community service at an elderly home and I had to take a driving course so go figure mm -mm. I hope they don't throw the book at jazz I do and I hope she walk out of here smiling so we shall see in a little bit bad way to uh, leave Jersey to go back to school that's a gift I wouldn't want so we'll see how it pans out okay I'm gonna go ahead and take this time to do some some um, subjects that was talked about in the real women of YouTube that because I've been so preoccupied with my father-in-law and my family the past couple of days um, I just felt like I would um, go ahead and answer these for y'all. First one is, what's in my pocketbook? Too much shit. Let's just go on and put it out like that. I, I don't care what purse I carry. The purse tends to get weighed down and heavy. I can tell y'all what will always be in my purse no matter what. Because, because it's so large, my purse tends to be a catch-all for everything. But the things that are essential to being in my purse is my phone charger, my car charger adapter, my makeup bag. It's a Louis Vuitton um, vintage cosmetic bag. Um, my business card holders, my business card holder, uh, my headphones or earbuds. Um, my knife yeah I always get in trouble for that so my knife um what else my selfie stick my wallet of course <laughs> cannot be nowhere without my wallet and generally speaking I do carry one of my iPads and I normally carry my iPad Air but the past couple of days I haven't been carrying it uh just because it's almost too much it's too, it's too much shit in my pocketbook right now i'm embarrassed to show you how much shit is in my pocketbook so that's why we're not gonna go ahead and go through the pocketbook maybe when i get back home i'll just give y'all a sneak preview of what it looked like second was why did i choose eclectnista as my channel name well eclectnista is actually my brand name it's actually the name of my business um eclectnista basically is an eclectic fashionista who has no rules no boundaries and she does and wears what the hell she wants and as you can plainly see that is me e eclectista all day every day word to your mama okay who is that behind me so that's why i just i just generally i just keep everything affiliated around that name eclectista um Jasmine's Eclectnista Jr., as y'all already know. Jada is actually part of Eclectnista brand as well. And why wouldn't she be? That's my baby. Um, she is Eclectnista Forever Young. That's Jada's. When she had an Instagram, that was her Instagram name. However, I had to cut down on some of her social media. Because uh, if you can't watch it all, 
cut it back. So the one social media that she is allowed to have and uh, we are all aware of and she friends with the whole freaking family is Facebook. So other than that, Jada is not on anything else that's social media. And if she is, y'all better tell me. Gotta watch each other's stacks and we gotta watch each other's kids. I did say YouTube ain't the village. However, if you are looking out for my child and her best interests, put me on game okay puts me on game y'all it's a long ass line out here to wait to go into this courthouse now i'm glad jasmine got out the car when she did because it is a lot of people apparently got some damn speeding tickets or some type of traffic violation in the past couple of weeks so stay tuned y'all it's damn near almost seven o'clock and why am i still outside waiting while I'm waiting, let me tell you what else done happened. So, I don't know if this is a bad sign or a good sign. But apparently, when she turned the car off, or she thought she did, she left the lights on while I'm sitting in the car. So, when Jada came back out here to get back in the car with me, because she said the line was too long, the car wouldn't turn over. So now I am really sitting out here looking like a diva in distress. But, lo and behold, my father-in-law is en route. He happened to call me and said that he was 15 minutes away from my house. I told him I ain't 15. I'm not at the house. So um, I told him where I was and now he's going to come rescue us. Okay. And I'm still sitting out here. Jasmine still ain't came out yet. Okay. So while I'm waiting... I asked the cop, and he came outside. I asked him, could he give us, give me a jump, okay? He told me they don't do that. I could have sworn I didn't seen cops uh, jump start people cars before, but he don't do that. Okay. All good. I told y'all I ain't messing with the damn police. I ain't messing with them not one damn bit. All right, y'all. The verdict is in, okay? The verdict is in, and... Jazz, basically, um, she got a tap on the wrist with some fees, though. Um, she had her mind set on $300, but she came out paying, what, $236? $239. Um, and she's just happy it's over with. Okay, now, do you see what time of day it is right now? It is freaking 834, okay? It was four. I was in the car for four hours. Papa, my father-in-law came and rescued me. I was a diva in distress. And he came and rescued and sat me in the center car with me and talked while we was waiting for Jasmine for the rest of the trip. But yes, yeah, has been an eventful afternoon, to say the least. Good night, y'all. It's been a long day. And on that note, I'll see y'all in the morning. I'm a little sad right now. My baby's packing and getting ready to go home or getting back to go to Georgia so I'm gonna sleep on it and I'll talk to y'all tomorrow